Hi, it's Robin Sharma, author of The Leader Who Had No Title and The 5 AM Club. And welcome to this episode. This episode is called Why So Few Succeed. So if you look at the majority of people, in many ways, they are like a cork bobbing in the ocean. They're drifting along. Uh, someone once said, the states person thinks about the future generations. The ordinary person thinks about the rest of the day. And unfortunately, so many good people with massive potential to achieve their personal genius have betrayed it because they just got pulled into reactivity, pulled into the noise of our modern life, pulled into diversions and distractions and trivial attractions. And so what I wanted to do in this episode to be of service to you is deconstruct why so few people succeed. And so I've come up with an acronym and the acronym is LSG. LSG. And so few people who could succeed actually do succeed because they've given up on learning, study, and growth. LSG, learning, study, and growth. So the neurobiologists and neuropsychologists will tell us that the human brain craves learning and it craves curiosity and it craves novelty. And unfortunately, a lot of us, we learned in school, but the moment we left school and walked out into the world, we've given up on our personal commitment to growth. And so I'm, I'm inviting you uh, with great love and respect to reclaim the curiosity you once knew as a child when you were overflowing with awe and wonder. You see, our natural state is the way we are, were as children. We're built to be curious. We're built to be passionate. We're built to be full of energy. We're built to question things. You look at a little child and it's like, mommy, daddy, why, 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 why? You look at an adult and they've contracted their curiosity. They've given up on seeing the magic in the world. They no longer grow. And so the mindset I want you to start practicing because no idea works unless you do the work. To install a core belief, you just practice it until it becomes automatic. That's how you actually get to change your psychology. And so the mindset I invite you to start practicing each day is what I call the 2x, 3x mindset. To double your income and your impact, triple your investment in two core areas. Number one, your personal mastery, and number two, your professional capability. And how do you do that? Again, you do it through learning, study, and growth. So I guess what I'm suggesting to you is you look at most of the population and you commit yourself to what I call anti-majority behavior. If you want to have a great life, a soaring life, a creative life, a productive life, a ultra prosperous life, look at what most people do and do the opposite. So most people what they do is they love consuming as opposed to creating. We live in a civilization of consumers. Buy this, eat this, do this, consume this. But the top 5%, those who play in the rare air of world class are not consumers, they're creators. Secondly, most people, the 95%, and this is no judgment, just reporting, but they're pleasure seekers. If you look at the true warriors of humanity, you look at the true empire builders, you look at the true titans who are constructing a better world, they're less about pleasure seeking because they understand that growth comes through discomfort. Willpower is built through voluntary acts of quote unquote suffering. I mean, to do hard work is to grow. To push yourself on a project to places that frighten you is to expand your creative capabilities. I hope I'm making sense for you here. But pleasure seekers don't create monuments. If you look at the Taj Mahal, if you look at Piazza Navona in Rome, if you look at the Great Wall of China, if you look at the Mona Lisa created by da Vinci, if you look at the Sistine Chapel created by Michelangelo, if you look at any, any great company, okay, an Apple under Steve Jobs, for example, or it might have been... Uh, uh, Elon Musk's companies. I don't know what companies most speak to you. But if you look at any world-class company, Under Armour comes to mind. These companies took grit. They took suffering. They took relentless, relentlessness. 
any creative person has to face the arrows and slings of their critics. So you get to world class through the doorway of discomfort. And how do you build a strong inner core? You do it by walking into the metaphorical hard winters of growth. That's how you train. You look at a great athlete. It's the way they show up in the championship game is simply how they showed up in the lonely light of the early hours at practice. It wasn't easy. I mean, I always think of Muhammad Ali. He said, I didn't like any one of those early morning training sessions, but I said to myself, suffer now and spend the rest of your life as a champion. The 95% are also pretty bored. That's why they're addicted to distraction. I mean, if you do not have a cause and a burning fire and a purpose for your life, no matter what you do, taxi driver, teacher, firefighter, carpenter, baker, once you know a cause, then you, I, I'll put it to you this way, a compelling cause to donate the rest of your life to is the antidote to apathy. But most people don't know. You say, what do you want to stand for? I don't know. Good question. You say, what five things need to happen over the next 90 days for this to be the best quarter of your life? I don't know. You ask yourself, what are your top five values? I don't know. You ask yourself, ask most people, what is your magnificent obsession that gets you out of bed at five in the morning with fire in the belly and sparkle in your eyes? And they say, I, I don't know. See, most people do not spend the time to think. They're busy being busy, caught up in the complexity of every day. Divorce yourself from the majority. Get involved in what I'm sharing with you is anti-majority behavior. And here's the brand, brain tattoo that I've been teaching at my events at like Personal Mastery Academy or my four-day four flagship event, the Titan Summit. And the brain tattoo I teach to the people in the room for exponential productivity so they build their empires, so they live world-class lives is simply this. To have the results only 5% of the population have, you've got to be willing to do the things that only 5% of the population are willing to do. I'm going to repeat that again for you so you can reinforce it and cement it. To have the results only 5% of the population have, you've got to be willing to do what only 5% of the population are willing to do. And it won't be easy. You know, I, I read a quote this morning and it was something, something to the effect of any great piece of work that the world has seen came as a result of huge amounts of effort in isolation for long periods of time, and here was the great part of the quote, in estrangement from society. Because when you live like this, when you get up early, when you go the extra mile, when you have painstaking attention to detail, when you love to learn, study, and grow, remember, LSG, learning, studying, and growing. In this world where most people are, they would rather spend time in entertainment than education. They would rather spend time in leisure than learning. When you live like this, when you devote yourself to your craft, when there's a sparkle in your eye to change the world and live your heroic potential, you'll be called a freak, an oddball, a misfit. But just remember this, and I say this with great love and respect. If people don't misunderstand you, you're not playing at your personal genius. Okay, let me finish up with two key points. Number one. When you honor your potential as a lifelong student, when you live by this white belt mentality, always thinking like a beginner, always learning, growing, expanding, this is how you electrify your personal joy. A lot of people ask me on my social platforms or at my live events, Robin, how can I get more joy? How can I get my spark back? How can I live in the magic of life? One of the ways is through the passageway into learning. Learning fires your joy. This morning I got up early as I do on most days, and I got on the exercise bike, but I also listened to an audiobook. And there's just something alchemic that happens when you're moving your body, but also fueling the student, the hungry learner within you. Second thing I want to leave you with. 
Pain is potential unexpressed. So if you want to lift your joy, learn and grow. But also remember, if you're spending all your time watching videos and breaking news and chit-chatting and playing with your devices and playing games versus getting in the pocket of world-class and honoring your potential so you live a world-class life and do work that endures the generations, if you just waste your time and waste your talent, if you betray the genius that longs to see the light of day, well, what starts to happen is this psychic pain starts to well up inside you. And more than anything else, you start to disrespect yourself at a conscious and subconscious level. This is very profound. I want you to think about this later. If you betray your potential, you start to disrespect yourself. And you start to fall into self-betrayal. And that builds this huge subconscious wet reservoir of low self-worth. And that's why you just sort of give up. You have apathy. There's no sparkle in your eye. You don't walk towards your fears anymore. You don't really care that much about your work and your love and your health and your life. And you resign yourself to the cult of medi mediocrity rather than playing in the place where you and I both know you belong to be, in the rare air of mastery. So I hope this episode has inspired you and challenged you to stand up and step up your game as a learner so you, play, so you live a world-class life. And here's your homework. As soon as you finish watching me, I want you to share this episode, this fiery, content-rich episode with three of your friends. Why? Because then you're going to help them. We're going to spread this inspirational and tactical message. And then I want you to share a conversation with those three friends. So all four of you start talking about what I learned because the teacher learns the most. And it's a great way to start refining and deepening your understanding of what I've shared in this episode. Secondly, a lot of people say, Robin, how do we get into the room for Personal Mastery Academy? My two-day Personal Mastery event on exponential productivity, to learn how the world-class producers think, how to build your various empires of creativity and health and prosperity and happiness in your life. It's really two days to live a world-class life. And if you're interested, just go over to robinsharma.com or, per, or personalmasteryacademy.com and you'll find all the details. And if that's of interest to you, I'd love to help you. Secondly, people ask, Robin, we've heard so much about your four-day famous event, the Titan Summit. Uh, we've heard Richard B Branson has been on your faculty and the co-founder of Apple, Steve Wozniak, was on your faculty and people like Shaquille O'Neal. And really, this is four days into epic productivity, the neuroscience of mastery. How do you live past 100 at world-class health? How do you build a great company, and the final day is really about how do you make history with the rest of your life while you, while you live beautifully. And I put together a faculty of people, it's not just me, and this is really training and a, a, an event at the highest level. People say this is one of the highest level live events available in the world. We have billionaires in the room, it sells out every year. If you're interested in getting a ticket, uh, getting a seat, all you need to do is go to robinsharma.com or you can go to the titansummit.com and all the details are going to be there. And finally, I'll see you on the social media where I love uh, building relationships with the people who read my books and the people who watch these episodes. More than anything else, I want to remind you, there are no extra people on the planet. You might be at the top of the mountain right now. You might be in the valley of darkness. And I'm here to tell you, number one, I've got your back and I'm with you on this journey. And number two, just because you're in a certain place now does not mean you can't be where you want to be in a relatively short period of time. Small daily improvements every day over time will get you to stunning results. Make that first step, okay? Lead where you're planted. I send you lots of love, all green lights. I'll see you in the next episode. Hi, this is Robin Sharma. I hope you received great value from this mastery session. If you'd like to receive potent training videos, blog posts, learning tools, and information on my two live events, Personal Mastery Academy, and my flagship four-day experience, the Titan Summit, go ahead and visit robinsharma.com.